Hi, I'm Pam from Hooked on Sewing. In this video tutorial, I want to teach you how to stitch a straight line. This is part of my Learn to Sew series for beginner sewists. There are a few supplies that you will need. Of course, you'll need your sewing machine and you'll want some all-purpose thread already threaded in your sewing machine. And you'll need some bobbin thread already wound as well. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using different colored thread on the top of my machine than I am in the bobbin, just so that you can see the difference. You'll also need some fabric. I have some plain white cotton fabric to practice with. And it's helpful to have a ruler or a gauge and a pair of scissors. Now your sewing machine may come with a presser plate like mine that has markings on it. And these markings, as you can see, are guidelines to help you stitch a straight line in a specific width. So say your uh, pattern calls for a 5 8 inch seam allowance. <clears throat> you would position the edge of your fabric so that it lines up with the 5 8 inch mark. If you wanted a quarter inch uh, seam allowance, typically you would line up the edge of your fabric with the edge of your presser foot. But you'll see there are helpful marks both vertically and horizontally on the presser plate that helps you to line up your fabric and line up your stitches. So let's take a look at how to sew a straight stitch. So take your scrap piece of fabric and line the back edge up with the back of the presser foot. And your right edge will be lined up with the right edge of the presser foot. This will give you a 1 quarter inch seam allowance. So to begin with, put your needle in the down position. And again, make sure the fabric is lined up even with the right side of your presser foot. I'm going to put my needle down. I have a needle up down button on my sewing machine, so I will use that. I put my needle down. I will stitch forward three to five stitches and then reverse the stitching and do three to five stitches and then continue on with my stitching, keeping my fabric even with the right edge of the presser foot. Again, we're going to start off with the needle in the down position. My fabric is lined up with the back of the presser foot and the right edge of the fabric is lined up with the right edge of the presser foot. I took three stitches forward, three stitches back, and then I continue to stitch across or along the edge, keeping the edge of the fabric even with the presser foot. When I reach the end, I'm going to back stitch three stitches and then forward three stitches. My machine has an automatic thread cutter, so I'll cut my thread. I'm going to raise my presser, raise my needle, and then raise my presser foot. If you don't have a thread cutter, you would cut your thread at this time. And there you have a stitch that is perfectly one quarter of an inch from the edge of your fabric. And we do the stay stitching at the beginning and the end so that our stitches will stay in place and they don't come out as we use our, our project. All right, let's take a look at this again. So let's say that we want a three quarter inch or five eighths inch seam. We would line up the right edge of our fabric with that marking on our presser plate. We would still line up the back of our presser foot with the back of our fabric, take three stitches forward, three stitches in reverse, and then continue to sew forward, keeping the edge of the fabric lined up with the marking on the presser plate. When we reach the end, we take three to five stitches backward, forward again, three to five stitches, raise our needle to the up position, raise our presser foot, and cut our thread. And there we have a stitch that is exactly one half of an inch from the edge of the fabric. Again, you can use your gauge or your ruler to verify that.
And if your sewing machine presser foot doesn't have markings on it, you can use painter's tape or washi tape to mark off uh, the markings quarter inch, half inch, five eighths inch, whatever you typically use so that you have something to use as a guide to keep your stitches straight. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please be sure to like it below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and please come visit me over on Hooked on Sewing blog. Thank you.